So the, 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 the tragic event happens. How over the years have you been able to reconcile that and come to some sort of closure to do with Helen? Uh, she's been gone for 20 years now. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of the resentment lingered. I think this film is going to dissipate some of that resentment. You said it gave you a bit of closure. Well, you know, I didn't, I wasn't angry with Helen. I wasn't angry with Helen. I felt after a while I, that, you know, I, I wished that Lee had been able to handle it in a, in a better way, you know, and not be violent towards her. Because whatever happened there that was described, it triggered that thing from her past. That's why she could do something like that. I mean, that was temporary insanity. When she killed him, she killed herself. That's very astute. Very yeah. Astute. That's how I. That's how I saw it. You know, I see so a lot of lot of circles there. Yeah. So the the things, uh, several things, happened after that 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 uh, that helped me, and one of them was to go in the studio, Capitol Records, here in, in L.A., and to listen to this music that we have recorded because during those days, if you recorded live, you couldn't hear it back. I mean, it was on tape and it was somewhere. But finally, uh, a man who's a great producer with a lot of insight, a man named Michael Cuscuna, he found this, th these recordings in a vault that, at Blue Note or wherever they put them, and he contacted me and asked me if I would come and listen to the music so that the songs could be properly credited to the musicians who composed them. And <laughs> the experience I had was I was sitting there in the studio and as soon as the music came on, it was like I was transported back to the lighthouse. It was it was an odd feeling. And uh, it was like everything just kind of came back. And I remember our conversations we had, walking along the beach, at the, you know, near the Sea Sprite Hotel. Just everything just sort of went like that. I came home and I was exhausted. My wife looked at me, she said, what happened today? I said, I can't tell you. I just had to go to bed because I was so tired, you know. But that sort of helped to lessen some of the pain that I felt. But uh, I think that, um, you know, when I saw this film for the first time, uh, that helped a lot. You know, Casper did a great job, don't you think? Yeah. Extraordinary. Yeah. He had very little to work with. But he, he told he told a story that that needs to be told. But you know, uh, Lee Lee was uh, you know in my mind just one of the greatest ever. You know, I played with Miles, of course, and Freddie Hubbard, and so many Woody Shaw. I mean, the list kind of goes on and it on. It does. Your list goes on. But he's he's my guy. Mm 